And the words of my mouth, you may not go without. Alright. Push fire, push fire, push. Hey. Fast fire, fast fire, pray. Hey. Push fire, push fire, push. Hey. Tell every obstacle out of the way. Push fire, push fire, push. Fast fire, fast fire, pray. Hey. Push fire, push fire, push. I 
Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are listening from this evening. It is evening in my neck of the woods. All right. So I want to welcome you to another episode um, of Relationship Talk. Of course, I'm your host, uh, Dr. Kevin Waite, and with me is the beautiful Beautiful lady all decked out in red today, looking so wonderful, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Wait, How are you, Mrs. Wait? <laughs> Let me turn your mic on. Oh, talk to me. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm blessed and highly favored. I, I believe you. I believe that you're highly flavored, and um, you're not only favored. I'm, I'm favored. But you're favored and flavored, right? Oh. You're if highly you favored so. and if flavored. You say so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I see somebody put up earlier on. Um, Dr. KJ, you're looking good. And um, Sister Wait, uh, Mrs. Sweet, you're looking good. Thank, Thank you so you much. So you know much. what? I'm just oh yes, Fancy Reedy says you guys looking nice. Thank you, Fancy Reedy. <laughs> I'm just coming from a funeral. My oh. passion says good evening, Dr. KJ and Mrs. Wait, uh, Hugh Osborne over there in New York. God bless you. God bless you to my brother, Pastor Kelly. Good night, everyone. Um, Sharon Faulkner, blessed day and night, Dr. KJ and family. Tracy and Robinson, good evening to you, my friend. Sophia Miller Parks, family, good evening. Janet Mitchell, uh, Jeanette Mitchell, good evening. Lamar Burk Burkett, good evening. Minister Kisa Peart, good evening. Minister Kimika Williams, good, good night, evening. Gorgeous. Good evening, good evening to you. It is indeed another pleasure and privilege to be with you this evening. So if you're joining us on the Dr. KJ page, good evening. Rose, Auntie Rose. Rose Reed is my wife's aunt. How are you doing, Auntie? Yes, yes. Hi, wonderful Rose. lady. Wonderful <laughs> lady. Uh, yeah, Ro Auntie Rose is here. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what, um, listeners? Um, so Mrs. Sweet will have to behave herself tonight because... And then I saw your brother. Your brother is just coming in too, Philip Reed. Oh, oh yes, good night, so, bro. So you're gonna have to behave yourself tonight, you know, Mrs. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> good evening, everyone. Wherever you're joining I plead us. The fifth. You plead the fifth. Yes. No, no, you're not gonna be able to plead no fifth this evening. Well, let's see. <laughs> Sean T. Hits, welcome, welcome, everyone. We're just, we're just um, taking a little time to acknowledge you. Uh, once we can see you, Richard White, welcome to you, my brother. I got in San Juan for the boat. <laughs> it does say what. <laughs> All right, all right. So wherever you're joining us from, if you're on the Dr. KJ fan page, if you're on the Kevin Wade Facebook page, or you're on the Dr. KJ, uh, not the yeah Dr. KJ Radio, we want to welcome you. I'm gonna beg of you just to share, share the 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 live, share the live for us, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I want to play something before I introduce our guest for this evening. 
You're invited to a special album and book launch by Dr. KJ. Special guest artists will be there, like Joan Fleming, William Rojik, Golda McFarlane, Judith Gale, Jay Bass, and the Prodigal Son. Dr. KJ's album and book launch will be held at the Bryn Mawr Church of God, 2227 Bryn Mawr Avenue, Philadelphia, on Saturday, the 12th of February at 7 p.m. Master of Seminist, Lady G. Tickets $30. You can get your tickets online at www.freshticks.com. That's www.freshtix.com. Come and support Dr. KJ's album and book launch at the Bryn Mawr Church of God at 2227 Bryn Mawr Avenue, Philadelphia, on Saturday, the 12th of February at 7 p.m. It's a red and white affair. For further information, you can call 770-873-7625. Don't miss this. Come and embrace the promise. Yes, that's what it's all about. Hey, hey. Yes, sir. Eve, Eve, Eve. Indeed. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. I want to say welcome to Rita Hines and everyone over uh, Fitzroy Jackson, uh, Mar Marina Dixon. We want to welcome you. Welcome you. Tonight, uh, this evening, uh, we're going to be talking about um, how to cope, how to cope with sexual frustration in the marriage, how to cope with sexual frustration in the marriage let me welcome of course the king of the pack the bishop himself bishop revelina mcpherson greetings my brother <laughs> uh, i hear you letting your wife plead the fifth you know, sir uh and tonight is not gonna be an easy night hello how you doing doctor good night sister wait blessings good to see you good how night, you doing <laughs> I, I want to let you know, you know, Bishop, she was not going to plead the fifth on any frustration because there certainly is no frustration going on around here. So we just want to be abundantly clear. All right. Um, I promise I was going to ask her some stuff outside of this, and that's what she wanted to plead the fifth on. But but if we get there, she won't be pleading the fifth. She, she'll be responding. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> good, good to be here. Good yes, sir. Good evening to my good friend, Mr. Ralston Ruddock. Welcome, my brother. Uh, let me also welcome the prince of the park, Pastor Kelly himself. Heaven <laughs> bless you, Doc and Mrs. Wade. No love. You know it. Go already, everyone. Big up yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say good evening to Melissa Murdoch. Melissa Murdoch down there from my community. Yes, good evening, Melissa. How you doing? And then I want to say welcome to the deacon in the park, Mr. Fitzroy Wellington himself. I am going to pop him up there for me. It looked like him last. <laughs> All right, we will we'll be joined by Mr. Wellington um, soon. I know he was there earlier, so we will definitely be joined. I want to say welcome to um, T. Morrow Baker. Welcome, 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 welcome. Now, um, how to cope with sexual frustration in the marriage? Um, we are going to. Uh, all right. Thank you very much, Mr. Producer. I, I, I heard that. Thank you. Uh, how to cope with frustration, um, sexual frustration. In the, the CEO is in the building, you know. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. The CEO is here. Hold on. Yo, now. Dr. KJ. I will get them exclusive, yeah. Tell the rest of DJ them, excuse me, bro. See your <laughs> business. I win a business. Dr. KJ showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Prodigal Son himself. <laughs> Locked in on set. You know something, Prodigal? I'm going to need you to call me. All right? I'm going to need you to call in on the radio station because I really want you to participate in this discussion tonight. All right? Uh, we're going to be giving out. Uh, Mr. Producer, can you put the number 
for the um, the numbers for the radio station um, up on the screen as well. How to cope with sexual frustration in the marriage. Now, this happens, um, everybody, when your needs are not being met uh, in the way you want it to be met. And uh, when you add sex to that mm. in the equation, then it gets pretty frustrated. Pretty, I see Bishop sitting up properly. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, he, he, he is sitting up, you know, uh, properly. Bishop, um, That's true. You know, how to cope, sexual frustration in, in the marriage. You know, somebody come to you and, you know, is pretty much frustrated. You know, can't be bothered. Um, what counseling uh, or, or what would you have them do or what would you say to them? All right. So first they come to me concerning um, frustration in their marriage concerning sexual matters. One of the first things that I would do is to make sure I find out where the problem is coming from because there is something that is there that is causing that frustration. And as we've been talking over the, the couple of weeks, we understand that one of the things is a sexual um, desire from the other partner that cannot be met. And then one will become frustrated. So why I would have to get to the bottom of it and get to the person who is being frustrated. Because say, for instance, um, the wife, you know, you know what a woman can deal with sexual matter better than man, right? Because woman tends to can have up them way and say, me, all right, me good. When man will take action, evasive action, if that's possible for them, they will. They will force on a rape or do something bad. So you have to get to the matter. I will have to get to the matter uh, where I have to get both persons in or if I can talk to the person that is affected by this. And All then right. I so, be able to so let us say, for example, Bishop, because we want to get to the matter um, tonight. We really want to get to the matter. So let us say, for example, um, John and Mary, they are members mm -hmm. of your church. Just an example. And they they come to you. And uh, let's say Mary is complaining that, you know something? John not pulling his weight. And I don't know why I use John, you know. But anyway, John not pulling his weight. And so mm -hmm. when it comes on to sex in the marital bedroom, John is either weak John can stand up to it. John, a two-minute man. You name it. What mm -hmm. advice or what? How do you approach? How do you approach that scenario? How, what what advice do you give to them in that scenario? That particular scenario where the woman is sexually frustrated. I would have to give um John a good talking, and I would have to lay hands on John because I mean. A man ought to know how to please his, 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 his partner, you know? Because that is one of the things that women desire from their, their partner, is to be pleased. So you see, in that sense, I would have to give John some good counseling and lay hands upon him and tell him, man, listen, you have to perform better, you know, do better as a man, because guess what? It's your bedroom and you don't want your wife to be frustrated and or start thinking, hey, I, I need a, a, a different person to be there. So you have to step up to your game. You have to step on and press more into to that thing, give more, you know, urge to it. Because what can be there too, you know, Doc? Sometimes you, the individual, is going through depression or something is happening surrounding you, and then your your mind, your your, your physical man is not connected to your partner sexually. So, you know, in that too, there I would have to get into that part of it because there, there are spiritual aspects of it too, you know, which, you know, you have to deal with. Because if he's going through something that probably he's not telling his wife, you know, I would have to find out and talk to him about it because that, in a, in a, in a sense, can stop him from performing and bring certain things else to him. You understand? So I'd have to get to the matter of that. Uh, where, staying with you, uh, Bishop, staying with you. In that regard, yes. um, uh, what about the mouth? The mouth? <laughs> The mouth, 
Yeah. Come clear on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he'll drop it for me. So my mother will call him Pastor Kelly. You know. The mouth. He <laughs> <laughs> said the mouth. So Come clear now. Let, let us welcome Mr. Wellington at this time. It's a Fitzroy Wellington. Yeah, we welcome oh, you. Uh, he's still loading there. He's still loading. Go ahead, uh, Bishop. Yes, you were saying the mouth. The mouth. Remember, he can't perform. Can't stop right. for it, and the wife is frustrated. Tell us, how, how um, about that part now? Uh, why not? You dropped me on the spot now, or you, you, you put me in a spot. <laughs> the animal thing, we still have got to talk against that, you know. So, <laughs> so I what, would encourage you. What, what if, what if the, 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 the man refuses to to uh, perform oral sex. Okay, you know, this is Big People Program. What if the man yeah, refuses yeah. to perform oral sex and um, because mm -hmm. of how frustrated the woman is? Um, you know, she is forced, um, put it that way, to commit adultery or, you know, or to be satisfied elsewhere. Who do you blame for that in that regards? Who do you really blame? Is the one who commit the hack out of the blame. You know, yeah, remember, you, remember, the man is the one who right. farming. And he's willing yeah. to what would have satisfied the woman. But that remember now, you know, in, in, in a marriage or just for better or for worse, you know, it consists of everything, you know. So you just have to understand and say, you know what, trust the Lord and know that God is good. And I can, you know, do without abstain, you know, live a celibate life at the same time. Uh, you know. It's a commitment, you know. So I have to talk from a biblical point of view. We're gonna, we're gonna come back to you because Fan Serene is very interested to know what if it's oral sex she wants. So let's let's pass a Kelly. Sexual yes. frustration in the mind. Uh, what what would you say to someone who comes to you and say, you know, Pastor, I'm frustrated. And it happens every day, it happens in a lot of marital home, it happens so often. Well, you know, if somebody really come to you and said, you know, Pastor Kelly, I am so frustrated. You know, my husband is not uh, pleasuring me, he's not pleasing me in the bedroom. My wife is not pleasing me in the bedroom. And, and I'm going to be direct with you. And let's say this person is a pastor, um, Pastor Kelly. And from a pastor to a pastor, what would you um, do? Um, good greetings again, everyone. Um, I believe these things do happen. And... Um, I know it, it is happening in 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 relationship marriages, and um, whether it's a unsafe couple or a born again, uh, I must say, um, find a solution. Um, whether whether it's the female or the male, are we pointing to the female or the male? But I would say if it's the male, um, you know, the wife is the help meet. Um, she's frustrated, I I believe, but. She should remain in that office of being the help me to, um, you know, see how best she can assist in um, the well-being of her husband in that area. You know, there's doctors. Um, I mean, doctors who can, um, you know, help with with certain situation pertaining to um, down there where he's having a shortcoming. You know, um, I believe that um, there's ways to work it out as the couple they are, as the one they are, which is the husband and the wife. You know. It is it's a verbal it's a verbal conversation between the both of them how to handle the situation. It is not for the public. It's not um to say um it's a self centered thing because you know there's there's help there's help in all sorts uh, a way you can find help. Amen. And I believe um in 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 all that when you're frustrated, I believe she will not sometimes feel the, the, the prayer line. She will not especially if she's the church. She will not gonna feel that prayer line at times. So frustration will come that she would get upset. She don't want to cook. You know, a lot of stuff oh, gonna come up on the, on the table right there. So what what I believe is is to seek help. Yeah, that's those are some very valid um and very important point that you're making, Pastor Kelly. I you made a, a lot of suggestion right there. Seeing the doctor. Um, you made mention it didn't use a term, but that's very key communication. You have to communicate, talk yeah. about the situation. You know, let's let's see how we can help each other. Now, Rena Cole says you can give him advice of boiling roots. 
um, cow skin water mixed with dragon or Guinness <laughs> and egg and drink cow head soup mixed with cow skin. Sister, wait, do you know anything about that? <laughs> no, you mean, sister, we must know that. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. yes. I can different, sister, wait. I can different, sister, wait. You must know that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Uh, really? So do you agree that these things can... It, it is true. It? It's true, it's true. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it is true. Yeah, I, I tried it, but um, it's very dangerous. So, <laughs> it was <laughs> very dangerous. So. <laughs> Listen, Kwasan Brown said that's no shortcoming. That's that's not a shortcoming. That's a no coming. No coming. <laughs> I know where yeah. he's going. You know, I know where yeah. Welcome, Mr. Wellington. Um, oh. how to cope with? Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, you see, I I was hoping that you would have played the fifth at this time, but you didn't. <laughs> All right. Um, Mr. Wellington. So why you want me to play the fifth now? <laughs> you said no, I should not play the fifth. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, sexual <laughs> frustration in the marriage. How should one cope? Wow. Wow. Sexual frustration can cause from a whole catalog of, of things that can cause sexual frustration. Um, first, in dealing with that, somebody come to me to, you know, for advising that, I mean, I have to ask them some questions. And sadly, I would have to ask, depending on, on who, I would even have to start with the individual who comes with me in terms of the questioning. I'm going to start with that person. And of course, um, overall, I, I'll have to probably, um, if I can, get the other party to sit down and we talk about that if I can't. Um, in this case, though, communication is extremely important because um, the truth of the matter is whenever you start getting frustrated in a marriage, not a marriage now, Right. This is somebody who you vow before God to spend the rest of your life with. Yeah. Um, and, and, and you take, especially if you take commitment pretty seriously. Um, you really can't beat the bush. You got to ask the, 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 the next person the, the, the question. Right. Um, I remember when I had to ask a tough question, it wasn't so. Uh, it was a situation with me where, as I said, I started last week with that. And I remember asking my wife then and I said to her, oh, baby, um, what is it? She said, I don't know. I said to her, no, no. She said, what do you mean? I said, what am I not doing? Right? And sometimes, especially on the part of the man, we, we don't want to ask that question, but we just got to face up to the reality and ask, what is it I'm not doing? What, we, what area am I not pleasing you? Right? What can we do to make this better? That's the time when that talk has to go on. What and if you, you can't take, shy away from What it. if you take Bishop's advice and she says, you're not pleasing me because you're not doing oral sex. And Bishop, don't tell you. Say oral sex is a no-no and should be a no-no. How do you handle that at that point now? Well, for me, for me, all right, and Bishop is my friend. For me, I, I, I believe that is a personal preference on the part of Bishop, right? Um, between the man and the wife at that time, again, they have to do some talking. They have to come to some compromise and see how the best they can reason that out. Um, Bishop views are not necessarily those of the persons who are facing the, the, the frustration. Mm -hmm. If it is that they can come to a consensus and it and it's okay with them, and I'm talking within marriage, then so let it be. Sexual frustration from a psychological perspective, if a case comes before us as psychologists, we don't pay attention to the sex. Yeah. Sexual frustration is a built up. It could be something else in the life of the person that yeah. is creating and causing the sexual frustration. I want to get that. And, and that's why and that's why I said, Doc, whenever the frustration starts to creep in, you have to do the talking, right? You can't stray away from the talking because the talking is like at that yeah. time is when you're gonna be your own FBI. Yeah. Good. Are you good, good, you good, yeah, you also, have, while you're communicating, you have to listen, 
right? So you know, because one question can lead back to some, and what you're doing in this form of communication, you're taking steps back backwards. You're going backwards until you can find, because the, the, the aim should be to get to the root of this where it started. Because frustration is not something that just happened overnight. Right. Ralston Ruddock says, first, we must disclose the frustration to our partner yes. and try to seek professional help. Yes. Roots are just a temporary fix. Yeah. Bishop, what do you say about that? You know, would you encourage somebody to mix up roots and what about when the roots get used to the body, you know, and not um, effective True. True. Well, um, yes, with roots and um, herbs and stuff, they are true, they do work because, you know, the Bible tells us that herb is the healing of the nation. And thus, there are things that can really heal certain areas in your body. Yes, because even the, 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 the pills that we take, they are from herbs and stuff extracted. So, you know, the roots are, are, are something that can be used to help in that in certain areas because not everything can be healed spiritually. Not everything. Right, because the root cause of it. No, I'm not talking about the root as in those roots. The root cause of it, the beginning of it, can be something that a bad habit that you have, a bad thing that you've been doing, it, it, and it, it 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 spreads, it builds up on that, and then something will start to manifest in your system. You know, you are a doctor, so you know more than I where that is concerned. You know that certain things can cause certain things mm -hmm. and have you disadvantage at certain. Please. Oh, yeah, yeah, very good, uh, Bishop. Let's be practical. Sexual frustration, Pastor Kelly. How should a woman who stays home every day try to take care of her husband, take care of the children, yeah. but she's hungry? She has no soap to shower. Well, wow. is not taking care of her. Mm. The man probably just don't care. The man is probably just mean, mm. whatever. But this woman is not being taken care of as a wife. She's she's gonna pull pull away in many ways, and this is something that we have to confront. It has to be confront, and um and 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 we're there. She's frustrated in that era, knowing that he's not there. I mean, at that place that she expects him or is is to be, you know, is gonna cause her to pull away in many ways from him. Praise God! I believe that um, the help is still gonna be needed. Counseling, um, <laughs> it depends on who you go to for counseling as well. Amen. Amen. Even the pastor who admired the couple. I mean, I mean, there are ways to get help, but it's going to be a serious one, I believe. Real serious one. You got to confront this. It has to be confronted. You know, there are many couples today who are at the peak of frustration mm -hmm. when it comes on to sexual intercourse in the marriage. Mm -hmm. All right. There are mm -hmm. those who might not be married, but they're still frustrated because yeah. many of us, we didn't come into this world through wedlock, all mm -hmm. right? So we're not writing anybody off, but we are discussing this matter in the context of marriage. Now, there are many men who goes to work. Let's flip the coin now, Bishop. There are many men who goes to work. They do work hard. They do take good care of their spouses. And, you know, they're just tired. Some have to do two, three jobs. Um, just to make sure that, you know, the family survive, you know, but, you know, based on the, the shift and the time, the man might be so tired that it doesn't matter how much your woman is calling Lazarus, Lazarus to come forth. Lazarus ain't going nowhere. Lazarus is dead and Lazarus is tired. Now, how do you think a woman should uh, tolerate or deal or, 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 you know, pardon as it were, her husband in that regards, knowing that he's working so hard and um, it just might be that, be that he's tired. That's on me. Uh, Bishop. <laughs> well, as Doc, um, Pastor Kelly was saying, communication is a thing that is um, necessary. As the wife, you would have to somehow try to speak to him and let him understand what you are going through. Because let me tell you something. If 
if you don't, the other half is going through something and you as the other half is helping that person to go down and not try to help him up. It, it, the situation is only going to get worse. So, you know, you try to find a way in how to fix or to either address that situation as a, as a wife. Because, you know, for a man to be putting, you know, the bread on the table, it can take a lot from him, you know, meaning he, he becomes frustrated over what he have to do. And then probably at work, he's not happy. And then the wife can be also, I, I, I wouldn't want to use the word Jezebel, but I have a behavior like that, a very tormented one, one who will just be shouting your ears. And because those things turn man off to, you know, because, you know, men are to be respected. And a woman must encourage their, their husband. And they have to see what they're doing and try to encourage him and tell them that, hey, I see you're working hard. What can I do to help and so forth and so forth. Try to put some action into something there so it can work out in your favor as well. It's not a one-half thing. You have to balance it, you know? Pastor Kelly, male oh. or female, who is usually more frustrated in the relationship? A female, I believe. Why? Men, uh, men on a whole, I would say, menhood. In the, in in this in 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 this in this in the in the sexual era of the frustration, that's what you're talking about. Yes, yeah, man, sexually, yes. Women, women, women can conduct themselves in that era to an extreme. To an extreme, but when 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 she desire her husband. Especially for, for, for what we were talking about just now with he's at work, he's at work, he's tired and, and very drained out and stuff like that. Um, I believe to an, ex, to an extreme or to an extent, he should put in his best. He, he try, 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 try some, try make it work. You're tired, but sacrifice the moment. No, why I said her would be more in that era because she's not the one who normally going to put herself out there. Except if she, especially if she's a good woman, she's not going to just throw herself to her husband at all times. Even though she is her husband, she's a lady, so she would just be. Uh, she, she would be the most subtle the one, the more you know, smooth rubbing, the one who is having the soft nature, you know, to conduct herself as a lady. No, she would be patient. I believe she would be the virtuous woman who would be patient and be able to just conduct herself, which not every woman are like that. But for that reason, when she need you, when she need you, but not about one, when she need you, she's expecting you. And I believe as men, we should approach and deal with the case. Yeah, I'm, I, I, you know, we're having a very strong conversation tonight. Um, I, and I love it. I love it. Um, how to cope with sexual frustration in the marriage. If you're just joining us, welcome. And uh, we are not going to ignore you tonight because I, have, I am seeing some real deep comments and mm -hmm. questions coming in. And I want to uh, take it. Mr. Wellington, uh, think about it. I'm going to ask you the same question after this. Um, you know, uh, Fancy Reedy is saying maybe when he come home, she... She looks slobby and he, he just doesn't have the vibe for her. That was in uh, response to something we said earlier. And then uh, Laverne James, Lavi James makes a very good comment. She, uh, she said, men don't like to hear that the thing is malfunctioning. And that's why they can never get help to make it better. Uh, Mr. Wellington, let, let me push that um, to you. Is that the case? In a lot of cases, yes. And especially where where we come from back in the neck of the woods, Jamaica, men don't men are known not to love doctors, not to love counseling. Mm -hmm. And that 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 sometimes put a lot of strain on, 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 on a good thing. And when I say a good thing, I mean a good marriage. Because a lot of times, I mean all it takes is a few sessions or a few sitting down with even a simple minister in your community. Um, you see, we have to understand men have something called egos. And when it comes on to the sexual part of it, they always wanted to be seen as the hero. Mighty, right? yeah. <laughs> uh, they don't want to be seen as 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 the person who is dying in the in the movie. Yeah. Let, 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 let's put it that way. 
Right. They don't want. They, they, they don't want to. Right. They don't want to die in the show. So that 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 is true. When it comes down to, they don't want to know that it can't work. So even if and and they don't want to be seen. They don't want to be seen in that light by anybody. And even simple. Um, to for a woman to get a man to go test to see um how if you're fertile etc. The man just not going to do it. Yeah, there are two comments that I want to um draw attention to, and I'm going to um go over to Mrs. Sweet. Um, D Tigress, um, all the way from Holland. Welcome, um, Sashi, all the way in Holland. She says both are more frustrated. Men have ego and act like nothing. Women show their feelings. Mrs. Sweet, is that so? Oh, yes. It is true. So we're not talking about the men ego part, no. We're no. talking about the women part why, that with their feelings. Because I believe Mr. Wellington ego. addressed that part already. So we <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 for me, when something is not going right, it shows right in my face. So my face you tells know, I, it all. Let's talk about that. Why women are like that? Yeah. Well, not all yeah. women, but I know when things are not going right, my face shows it all. You mean sexually or just in general? In general, but, anything at all. So how are your face looking when things not going right sexually? Why should I, want I to know. Okay, as oh, Pastor oh. Kelly always say, emote proud, <laughs> mine out. Oh, <laughs> I'm over proud, and trust me, it looks like the world is against me. Yeah, let me get my out. A dog. I'm taking note. Woman. I'm taking note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, she said not me. Okay, okay. okay, she said no, not you. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> but it's true. Women always show their feeling, and women, most women, tend to. I don't know if I think men don't listen, because most of the times women are telling you that okay, I am not satisfied with this, but because you're so egotistic, up, right? Mm -hmm. That's the word. Because of all of that, you don't just don't listen. All right. Um, for everyone who is so over on the Kevin Wade page, I'm going to ask you um, to come over to the Dr. KJ radio so we can see your comments. All right. The producer is asking me to kindly ask you to come over to the Dr. KJ radio so we can, you know, you can participate in the discussion. We're going to be going to Nesta Barrett comment in a little bit. Um, yeah, finish your point, uh, Mrs. Sweet. I'm not cutting you off tonight at all. Uh, finish I, your no, point. No, it's exactly where I'm cutting you. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, um, and then I think men, men more, more want to think about themselves. It's all about me. So, if if a woman is talking that and they, they're always strong headed and think that okay because i'm the head of the house this is what it's supposed to be this is so i don't think men really listen to women not so every, time, not every man uh by the way not every one of them because you have some of them you don't know well, who wear the skirt and who wear the pants in the home and, and some have selective hearing yeah mm. Yeah, and some have mm. short-term memory. Okay, I'm learning. Yes. Mm. I'm learning that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nesta so, Barrett. So how do you know when they have selective hearing and short-term memory? We, we'll come back to that. Nesta no, Barrett. I want to know. Um, <laughs> Don't. I want to know. I, I want, want to know. To. You're going to yes. know. <laughs> We're going to no, tell you. No, We're going to tell you. Deal with this part first. Yeah. And then to Nesta's um, comment, yeah. please. We Pastor Kelly, Bishop, Bishop, pa Kelly, can you help me out here, please? Yes, 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 Doctor. Bishop, Doctor, we need. No, no, no. She's asking you a general question, sir. How do women know when men are have short-term memory and when they have selective hearing? A general question, sir. Don't call your name. <laughs> right. You go ahead, sir. Tell us how. Uh, you know, tell us. Uh -huh. Over to you, sir. You want to make a comment? <laughs> Wellington. Oh me? Oh, that's, that's right. right. No, no, no. That, that is fine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, I sorry. I was paying attention. All right. So, l l all right. Let me tell you. All right. Men overall are not good at remembering things. That's why they always get caught. In to cheating. be honest, men are good. good at not remembering what they don't want to remember. Well, 
well, I, I, I agree to disagree. Uh, yeah, I, I agree to when disagree. They, when they are um, in hot seat. Hold on. While on the other it's side. Great, especially when they are in a hot seat. Okay, okay. While on the other hand, women brains are what computers are made out of. They forget nothing. Oh, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to give that to women. Yeah, you have to give that to women. <laughs> a woman can tell you Forget nothing. what happened 40 years ago. 1962. Tell you exactly how yes, it sir. happened. No. Yes, sir. Women. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know, and let me tell you, women are good custodians, you know. Women Very. are excellent custodians, not only yes, when sir. you give them things to put up in a but if you ever give them anything in their mind, their brain, they never forget what that thing is. You have to, in fact, you have to be careful what you say, especially in a relationship to a woman. Especially if you're lying to her over time. Each time you're telling her something, what she automatically does, sometimes you hear she say, she, she's clicking. And you wonder what she's doing. And sometimes she will say to you, are you finished? And you say, yes. She said, okay. She clicks, save. That's save to the computer. Yeah, that's how women are. And that's why I don't practice lies. I try my best. Oh, right. so lies up to your practice. Okay. No. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no. You, know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know that's what you said. Excuse me. No, that's something that people practice. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to welcome um, Shabon Reed, another brother of uh, Mrs. Wade, and they're all tuning in tonight. Thank you so much, guys, for staying with us. Uh, Mr. Producer, uh, we're going to come back to your comment, Mr. Lamar. Let's go to uh, uh, Nesta yes. Barrett's comment. Um, it slipped away from me. Uh, the comments are coming in. Uh, okay. He says, in relationship, um, in relation to your question, frustration is not unique to any particular sex. Both get frustration, uh, frustrated, right? Especially if they rely. Really, really. Really. Really love, love sex. sex. Thank you. If they really love sex. So, so Nesta is actually agreeing with the Tigress that both party can be frustrated or do get frustrated when the sex is not good. Let's put up Mr. Lemar's comment um, to match what Nesta was saying, and then we have a, a, a discussion on it. Uh, the one you had up there before, uh, uh, Mr. Producer. I, I, I'm relying on the producer. I can only see his comments right now. Lemar says, and the same wife must take care of them husband, reading it just as it is. It's not the husband alone must do all the work in the bed. Bed work. Wife can work too. Some good wife can handle the bed good. Amen, somebody. Amen. Let all the good amen. wives say amen. 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 <laughs> amen. This, 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 we never say that no more. We never just clap. We never say no more. <laughs> all right. All right. I don't know what the Tigress is talking about, you know. Um, she said, yes, Nicole, hit it to him. Men got to learn to read between the lines. What lines, Nicole? What, what lines? They always say that. Yeah, what, what lines? lines? Yeah, tell us. What lines? Mm -hmm. I'm Sashi. I would love for you to tell us what the line. What lines are we supposed to read between? What do you mean, what lines? I know. Based on what Sashi said, she said, <laughs> oh, yes, Nicole. Hit it to him. It. Men got to learn to read between the lines. And then they go on good. <laughs> They're not going on well. That is it. Am I right, somebody? If you're not going on good. Actually, 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 Pastor Kelly, that is when the wife is not saying it in, or putting out in words, but giving you a hint. Definitely. You know, so they want you to read it. Because uh, um, let, 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 let's be fair. A lot of ladies, a lot of ladies, Doc, sorry to cut in here. A lot of ladies sometimes, they give the men hints simply because they don't want to come out and say, look, you're not going good because they don't want to hurt the man's feeling. Yeah. So true. they give hints and they expect you to pick up on the hints. But remember. Know why, you know why, Mr. Wellington? Well, we always speak because parties, right? man wear pants, but women control the zipper. Amen. Mm -hmm. Good woman. That's a good woman. You know that women are some powerful creature. 
Very. Oh, yeah. Very much. Hold on. Let's go to my passion comment. Both get frustrated, but women can manage more. Men can't. Do you agree with that, Bishop? No. Why? <laughs> I agree with one part of it. Both get frustrated. But the part that you say woman can manage more than man. And my personal, I will speak personally. Uh, no, I think a man, as a, as a man, I can manage more. So I, 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 I mean, from previous relationship before I got married. Good or still? It, 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 I, have, I have managed. When, when, when the person said they, they're not, all right, say for instance, they say, hey, no sex tonight. I just relax and take it easy. And I mean, some man, if you tell them that, hey, you're not getting no sex and the woman is there in the bed, they get angry, start mash up things, come out of my house, lick down this, mash up porn and all of that. But, you know, I think man can deal with the situation more easier than a woman. Because if a woman said, hey, a woman here keep with me, you, you, you know, want nothing, you, you know, you, you, you push me away and all of that kind of stuff, you know, so a man can manage it much much easier, I believe, from my point of view and from my experience. Pastor Kelly, from a yes. different pastoral perspective now, mm -hmm. do you agree with what Bishop says? And do you agree with what uh, my passion says? I, I could sit here and tell you that I knew you were coming to me. Yeah. <laughs> and and um, my passion, what she said, repeat again, um, both get frustrated when women um, can manage more Men can't. That's what she said, right? Yes, men can't. Mm -hmm. Men can't. I believe that the woman, she can, she does show more in the open. She does more, she show more in the open that she can manage. Men hide. Men really hide. And um, and and remember, I be, I know that is is both, is both of you. So if you're having a shot coming there, she needs to know. If she, if you know you're tired and you, you have push yourself, I mean, let we talk. Yeah, you you're tired and you have push yourself, but she have the energy and she have gone. But you know you're tired. You know, you must make sure no, cause you may hurt yourself. Hmm. And women are really having the ability to be more. Oh. As to Mr. Cameron's question, but that's what we're going to be talking about next week. So we're not even going to touch that this week because we're going to be tying both next week um, as well. Uh, let's go over to Dina Henriquez. Um, welcome, Dina. Uh, she says they will not pick up, referring to men, they will not pick up on the hint if they think they are doing a good job. And then Nesta mm. says exactly so. Sometimes the wife uses codes and men need to understand it. Now, notice the perspective of the woman versus the perspective of the man. Now, let me ask Mrs. Wade, from the perspective of the man, what are the codes that women use that we are not paying attention to? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can do it, Mrs. Wade. I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> what are the codes? We're talking about um how to cope with sexual frustration in the marriage, everybody. What what are the codes? Uh, I'm just trying to to put one of them together. Send a song. But um I'll speak up in the mic. I believe um uh, the producer is asking him to speak up the mic. He, he wants to hear you. <laughs> yes. I can hear her. She's sitting right beside me. You know, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact speak softly in the mic. I can hear you. <laughs> what, what, what are the codes, um, though, Mrs. Way? What, you know, women, you know, as a woman, what are some of the codes that you would say men on a whole ought to look out for when the wife is speaking but not verbally? Okay. This, this is where the help you start your first. It didn't get shot. Well, I never do that. Well, so. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. For me, I never do that. For me, they didn't get more. <laughs> so, I, I have never done that. Yes. I have never, I have never um, not wash his, his, do his laundry or anything like that. Good, very good. But Sometimes what I do is probably don't speak to him any at all. Oh, so, 
yeah. So if I don't speak to him any at all, and then my face look away, then he would probably pick up. But that's one of my quotes. But well, you know the solution to that, everybody. Yeah, she yeah. does that, and she does a pretty good job doing that. I, I'll let you know that, right? Not wanting to be personal, but she will vex up her face, and so I know. And my passion just said that a while ago too. She will vex up her face, <laughs> but guess what? It's because of me wear the pants. In the house, mm -hmm. it not go on like me wear frack, and I behave me. like oh she I behave. Me have to break the ice, so you know what me start. You know me start cracks on jokey. I have to laugh. Yeah, you understand. Well, sometimes yeah. I don't really it, laugh. It, I just cut. Like yeah, sometimes you cut her eye, but guess what? <laughs> and you know what else we can do after that? When she I cut eye and I go and just hold her, you know, from behind and. Yeah. and yeah. Two women are supposed to live in on the one room and one wear frack and one wear pants and pants. You, you must know the man different from the woman. So Definitely. this is a woman behavior. All well, right? That, so one, if the woman is going to behave too. that way, then the man shouldn't be doing the same thing. We got to find yeah, a way to break the ice. And trust me, sometimes I want to smile it, you know, and you forget, she forgets that she defects, you know. Yeah. I smile, no, you smile think, now. You then you... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that's why I try to get you to You don't notice from Andy. No, it's registered. We don't notice that I try to get himself out of it. We don't miss no. <laughs> It is true. Um, let's but, go. But I think that's one of the main code, though, the vexation and then getting miserable. That's true, my passion. Getting miserable. So everything the person does, you say, boy, me can't bother you just, you understand? But that, so, will, but that will also create a level of frustration as yeah. well. So we still have to be careful that <laughs> the means like doesn't, the end doesn't lead to another means. You know, and we have yeah. to be careful because... Again, it goes back to communication. Right. All right? Rather than being always... miserable and quarreling, what about sitting down and talking about it? No, but sometimes you're there sitting down and you're, you're trying to communicate with, with your partner. You're saying, okay, I don't like this. or But it seems like the person is not understanding what you're saying. Are they not yeah. listening? Are they just being hard-headed? Or stubborn or something, and then sometimes they even ignore you. You're uh, talking and, to them and they ignore you. And like, Sashi, Sashi's trying to back you up there. That's not good advice. By the way, Mrs. Wade, you see what Sashi is saying there? What? Mrs. Wade, don't stress yourself. Give him eye works. He'll get to we oh that <laughs> glory. Okay, but you're saying oh. it's not a good advice. So no, you're no, saying glory. That the first part is not a good advice, but the last part. You know, they give him hours, he'll get weak. Yeah, he get weak. Listen what Richard said. Look at what Richard said. Listen, I don't think so. That's referring to the whole man and woman, mm -hmm. which one can manage. He said, Listen, I don't think so. I can't manage worse if she promised me, oh Lord, me vex until me get whatever. Mm -hmm. I could be sick even with COVID. I need it. <clears throat> we shall go in the 10% that can manage it, my boss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think men can um can really handle that frustration because sometimes when they get frustrated they get violent really Producer man, producer. And they can't manage it. And by the way, if, you're, if, you're, if they're vexed with you and you play about vex, you don't talk about it. But you said violent and... though, Mrs. Wade. What do you mean? Because you know, you take, nobody thinks I'm there. No, 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 no. I'm not talking so about you. Know you. Know you mean, you know. No, talk, you. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> no, you have some men that if they don't do what they want, they will beat the woman. Oh, no, but you must say, but when you talk a while ago, you must sound like saying, yeah, get licked. No. I mean, no, you're not getting a lick. No, sir. If you lick me, me I cut off your hand. You're, you're not going to lick nobody. Not, else. No. You're not going to lick me. <laughs> and I, and I you're believe. not going to get the chance. You hear, you hear how she want to get violent on Facebook, man. <laughs> <laughs> but she no, doesn't no, mean no, that. No, she doesn't mean that, mean. everybody. She doesn't mean that. Definitely. <laughs> no, and I believe, Bishop, a one way a man must lick a woman. 
Bishop, <laughs> Bishop, Bishop, what you said? Yes, sir. <laughs> what, what is it? I don't sir? Know I you see, I throw that one at Bishop because I know what Bishop would be thinking, you know. When no, I say, no, 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 no. So you know, Bishop, me at top, no, 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 no. when you put her in <laughs> one nice, um, warm, some warm water and beard her down, and you have a good time, and then you go in the bedroom. And they say you beat her, you know. When you beat her, what Jesus she call for, you know. What glory and hallelujah she start preaching, you know. And when them the beating there, when they done all you can do, I just sleep and hug up and have a good time. You Laura, know, you, that's Laura Bishop. Time, you know, hand on them kind of stuff there. I there's, them the stick. There's, a, there's a difference between beat and, and slap and lick, you know. So when you use certain terms, oh. there are things that are going to come out. Bishop, no, yeah, in, Jamaica, in Jamaica, when they get, when they hit you, you then say, ah, oh, lick your head. <laughs> Well, yeah. Bishop, isn't that so, Bishop? Tevin Cameron, I don't want him to usher me out, right? Welcome. Yeah, I, was I am going to behave myself now because the officer is here. So, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. Our Minister Judith Gale is here, so I'm going to behave myself. No, I don't want Tevin Cameron to read me out of the church because he says that he's going to usher me out. Now, let's mm -hmm. go to his comment. He made a comment earlier that was on the screen. Uh, Mr. Producer, just put back that comment up. Let me read <laughs> that comment. And my passion is saying, uh, Bishop, I try trick you. I don't know. But anyway, Tevin Cameron says, sex life, sex life should be fun. I think some women like to be spontaneous. A little quickie here and there. Introducing spontaneity will help to... Uh, the, the the dilute to dilute the frustration, Bishop. To you, sir. Yeah. Do you agree? I, I believe so. You look, let me make it clear to you. Let me make it clear to you. Work, Bishop. Let me make it clear to you. There are certain things that the wife can do, thus the husband too, that can can eliminate frustration to nothing. I mean, it works on both ends. As you you would experience this thing, you know, your partner if she put on something nice, not talk about no long robe now, because hey. My wife, you know, I don't want to explore certain things, but she is a woman, a phenomenal woman. Let me express that. Hello to my beautiful wife. Yes, she yes, not yes. Well, let, Let's right? just pause to greet uh, Mrs. McPherson. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Mrs. McPherson. Yes. Wonderful woman. Yes. But she knows if we do my thing. And, you know, me know if we do my thing. So Come both on. of us work with you. Come on. So you, as a wife, you got to know how to do your thing and, 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 and put yourself in the right part. And, do a little thing sometimes, you know, have to go bedroom. <laughs> you know, the bathroom, so what are you just do a thing right here? Yeah. It was just alluding to that. It doesn't have to be the bedroom. It can't be on top of the kitchen counter, too, you know. If it's not, but you have to go sanitize and wipe off the place there. You know? <laughs> 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 Careful. Can my food I eat up or not? You know what I want to do? That's it. Oh, gosh. No. Everywhere else. It's in the garage. <laughs> you have so many places. But Bishop is here house, you know? Yes, but the, the kitchen. Different <laughs> man. The kitchen, the kitchen, the kitchen, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. No, no, come on, kitchen got enough there. Kitchen. <laughs> Bishop, any, any, way, any way you want to spice it up, spice it up. But I'll make you and tell you, me different from you, yeah. any way. Spice it up. Spice up, spice up the relationship. That's all I can tell you. Me not tell you. Me <laughs> not tell Bishop, I mean, I tell uh, every other what to do, but all I can tell you, no. Stick on a relationship, spice it up. Listen. Yeah, man, let, let me do that. Judith is saying that she didn't know that Mr. Wade could talk. Um, yeah, let me tell you. I, I want him to tell you. Um. <laughs> oh, I want, to, I want to say something about the, the frustration, though. Yeah, go ahead. Sometimes frustration comes um, when we have <laughs> unresolved issues. Yeah. So let's say... Your partner did you something way back when, way back when it was not dealt with. And it's like you just move on 
But they are expecting you to move on. But I know women hold on to things. I know that. But if you don't deal with the matter, you're going to get frustrated. Yeah. Whereas if if the, if one of the partner is behaving as if, oh, I am like above you. Should just you. Get, like you should just get over it. Right. And, right. Okay. I do this thing, and guess what? Because I do it, you forgive me. So you must just move on. I should just let go, get over it. No, you have to learn to work through every problem that comes up and fix it before you can say, okay, let's move on. Do, do you feel that, Mrs. Sweet, that this is one of the leading causes of frustration in the marital? Most times. Most times. Most times. No and then, then if if one of the partner don't learn to communicate so okay i'm having this issue let's sit work through it then the other one is going to get frustrated because you are there holding on doing whatever you want to do it's all about you whatever whatever so guess what the other partner is going to feel hurt and disrespected so if you don't work the issues out then frustration is going to come in. Yeah, and that's a key point. That that's a very key point. We want to say welcome, welcome to DJ Casey and other radio um host. Uh, we welcome you. Um, there's a number coming coming. By the way, Minister Kimika is saying that she <laughs> loves how you get to talk a lot tonight, Mrs. Wait. I did promise her I am not gonna cut you off. I am going to let you talk. Bishop love that tonight. Um, Bishop, um uh the tigress is saying that the body is a meal because you got to prepare it before you eat it. But that not, that's not for Bishop because Bishop ain't eating no meal. Um, down there, um, Siobhan Reed, no, the pain real at times. Uh, probably referring to what you were saying, uh, Mrs. Wade. Um, uh, one, just reading some of the comments. Um, George, um, Georgine Gilbert, welcome. Bishop's kitchen is sanctified. Amen. Um, Maureen... Maureen Stone Barrett, welcome, my sister. Frustration comes also when you are tired. Both works, and then the wife is expected to come home, come home and do all the housework. That's a, a matter that we want to take up um, for real. That's a very, very, um, and you know, I many times my wife and I we talk about that. It is so unfair. I believe as a man, it is so unfair to the women. Um, they, we both go out and work. All right. We come in and we as men most time expect the woman to get down to do everything, do this, cook the meal, do that, and then go upstairs and service you. You understand? So they have to do everything and then turn around and still service you. No, you're not the kind to do the housework. I know that. Me can't bother with the housework. So you know what I do? I pay somebody to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, so and that and I discussed that with my wife. My wife knows I can be very lazy in the house, but I make sure that me not kill her out and slave her out mm -hmm. in the house. So I pay to get the job done. Why? Because I can afford it. Some people can't. No, when I couldn't afford it, the two of us wash plate, the two of us cook, the two of us sweep the yard, the two of us clean the 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 the, 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 the house. The only thing me never used to do I make the bed. Because my wife always a quarrel and said, but me just make up the bed. And so I said, what the bed was for? So, you know, I always ask her, so you want to make up the bed? I mean, if you stand up and look funny, me can't stand up and look funny. You have to lie down in the night. You right? But we, we used to work together, all right, when I couldn't afford it. Now I can afford it, and I can be a little lazy. I pay somebody to do it. No, that takes the frustration from her as well. So when it's time for her to commit to her wifely duties she's not frustrated there either right because i make provision many times we allow the women to go out and work and they are to come in and cook and then service us and take care of the kids men it is not fair to the women not right true not not right. i agree true i agree yeah omar white welcome my brother i have a friend whose wife is in a coma three years now He's more securely frustrated than a raging bull. How will you address such a person? Uh, Bishop, I want to get one there, but I want to get one there. Mm -hmm. Kelly, 
The wife yeah. is in coma. Sickness. Three years. Three years. Sickness, sickness don't partial nobody. And if she's sick, she's sick, but he's frustrated. He love her. That means he desire to have her, but she can't fulfill that which they normally used to. So he's, he, he want to keep that vow and keep it. And it, that, the frustration, I believe, is coming to him to say, go on the go, go, go in the road, go and look it. It's hard for him. Real you know, hard. Truth be told, marriage is a risk. It is. Real risk. Marriage is a risk. Now, in, in this particular case, I want a hard this, man. Now, this is where this gentleman's marriage has been tested. Yeah. Yes. His commitment yes. to his wife <laughs> is now is. being tested. Yes. Are you going to honor in sickness and in health for better or for worse? Yeah. For richer or My for God. poor? Are you going to commit My God. that vow that you may? It's a risk. Because when you enter, you enter this risk at your own risk. And so you are saying, if this thing happened, I am willing, as bull as I might want to be, and as, as raging as I want to be, I commit to this woman. Yes. I will now have to live up to my commitment yes. to keep myself as long as God allows her to be in that coma. And that is where you're going to find out if you're really true to your vows, um, your your commitment, you know, that which you have, um, you know, you have given out in front of many persons to say, yes, I, I, I vow to keep this marriage. And I tell you, this one, big. I've never even think of this one. This one is real big. I applaud. I, I personally applaud that gentleman. Yes. And, and I, if he, I, I, I hope I hope he, he has a relationship with God because in this sense, he just have to keep praying and he just have to, and even sometimes in the midst of praying, I mean, you want your wife so badly. You understand me? Based on the fact that you love her, it's really, really a tough one, but I want to applaud that gentleman. Yes, after three years, um, mm -hmm. he's raging now because he has needs. Of course he does. He has needs, but this is where the marriage is tested. Um, Judith said some people find it hard to face the truth, you know, and, and that is true. Um, sometimes people find it so difficult. Siobhan Reed, it can't be finished worse if you both if both of you um, can't talk about it without getting upset. Um, I, I think he's referring to something that we said earlier on. My passion, that is why I say people, it's not about feelings, it's a decision. Once you get talking about marriage, once you get um, into once you get that, that you that. will do better. Yeah, that is not about feeling. It's a decision. Mm -hmm. I don't feel love. I decided to love my husband. That's Sex it. is not the only way to lose your frustration. He can pick up some hobbies. Um, doc, um, DJ sure. Casey says that's a tough one relating mm -hmm. to the scenario with the gentleman that Omar <coughs> mentioned wow. just now. It is the, the, the conversation is very dynamic, um, everybody, and we're going to be ending it right here. Um, you know, there are a number of things to be done. A producer um, celebrating a birthday with a listener and, and, and friend, and uh, myself have business to take good care of. And I know Bishop Revelina, uh, congratulations again, sir. I will not say just yet, but everybody will soon hear the good news, sir. Congratulations. Bishop Valina has business to go take care of. Uh, Pastor Kelly has yes. business to go take care of. I don't know about Mr. Wellington. Um, but anyway. Always have business, always have business to take care of, sir. sir. Are you have to tell me. Oh, always I... have business. <laughs> In fact, can I quickly say something, sir, to that? Um, that and before uh... you do that, Shana Gay, thank you so much for joining um, mm -hmm. tonight. Thank you so much. Yes, Mr. Wellington. Yeah, that's my sister. Um, yeah. go, go back to the whole issue of we, um, both partners working together and coming in tired and, and doing such a cruel act to you know to want to get your service done but sometimes it's the way a way which we men are cultured um i remember when i married my wife i before marrying her i tell her look i'm marrying you but i'm not marrying a household engineer and i'm the type of guy who i jump around in the house and do what i need to do 
before I go out, when I come in kind of situation. I just think men need to understand um, and, and, and appreciate who we have in our lives. So even when we have the two and the three job, we have to understand, say, look, we have to find oh, somewhere oh there, somewhere there to make, to, to make some time for the mm. person who we going home to. So many times, so when we get a little time, we have to take her and carry her out. Even if we have to carry her to a hotel for one, one night and, I mean, mm. spice up the thing, but we have to really... Mark you, some think. women don't want to be taken out, Mr. Wellington, so you have to bear that in mind as well. Some women would never want to leave the house to go anywhere. If well, do something at home. Be creative. Be creative. No. Be creative. Oh, oh, as, men, oh, oh. As, men we need, as men, we need to also be creative. Home alone listen, cannot listen. do it. You could have the biggest house. Sorry, Mr. Wellington. You could have the biggest house, the prettiest house. Home alone cannot do it. Go out. Take out your wife. What? And if your husband take you out, go out with your husband. Please him. And please your wife. So you go. Doc, I'm out. Judith, Judith okay. is quoting a scripture, and we're going to pick up there next week. Also, everybody, come back and join us next week because we're going to be talking about can these sexual frustration leads to cheating and what are the repercussions of that? So it's going to be hot next week. And I want to invite you to come back next week, same place, same time. I want to say thanks to Bishop Evelina McPherson. Uh, Bishop, you know, I respect you, you know, highly, you know, respected gentleman. Pastor Kelly um, never says no. Uh, we miss we miss Minister Kimika to, um, tonight. Everybody, she couldn't be on because she was um, she came in late from work. All right. So next week, hopefully, I know she would have loved to be on to help Mrs. Wade. But next week, Minister Kimika, uh, it's going to be your week. Mr. Wellington, as usual, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mrs. Wade, um, mm -hmm. I, I see Sashi was trying to say you're backing me up in a corner. And I also saw Minister Kimika says tonight was my hot seat night. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. We all have our hot seat night. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Mr. Wellington, Mr. Well, well, done. Done. well done. Well done. We will be having, um, hopefully next week, a special <laughs> guest. Please tell everybody we're going to be in, having Dr. Carla Dunbar and we're going to be talking about the issues next week. So come on in and we're going to be having a great, great, great time. Thank you so much, guys. Blood Gates. Blood huh? Gates. <laughs> okay, Bishop. Blood <laughs> Gates. <laughs> By the way, don't forget, guys, the Grand Dr. KJ Tour is coming up. Dr. KJ Tour is coming up. Well, we're going to be in Florida on the 11th of February at 11030 Wiles Road. And then on the 12th, we're heading over into Philadelphia, into Pennsylvania. Embrace the Promise Tour is coming, the Greater Gospel Music Tour. And we're going to be in Brand Mar Church of God. And on uh, Sunday, the 13th of February, we're going to be in Grace Tabernacle, Deli Grace Deliverance Tabernacle over there in New York. You don't want to miss it. Prodigal Son, Judith Gale, Eddie Neble, Jay Bez, Joan Flemings, Dr. KJ, uh, William Roji, um, Second Chance. My God, it's going to be Keith Appeared. We're going to be having a great, great time. So bring somebody if you're coming. And if you can't come, send somebody. And listen, guys, you got to come because you might just be meeting Bishop Revelina McPherson. All right? So come on in. Get a fire, free preach the word of the Messiah. Yeah.